This is a DBH tape. DBH stands for diameter at breast height, which in the forestry world is 4.5 feet. A DBH tape has two different sides. On one side we have inches and on the other side we have a converted measurement system that measures circumference of the tree. This is the side you will use when measuring DBH of a tree. This tree is on pretty flat ground. So when measuring DBH, we can just go straight at 4.5 feet, which is about breast height. What you're gonna to wanna to do is place this hook type tool at the end of the tape into the tree, and then wrap the tape around and make sure it stays aligned at breast height. So when trying to look at the unit, Take a look at this bottom line and follow the numbers all the way around. This one seems to be 8.4. So your measure for DBH on a tree like this would be 8.4. This tree is on a slope. When measuring DBH of a tree on a slope, you're gonna wanna go on the upper side of the tree and measure at breast height from that side. So as we do like last time, Gonna wrap the tape around, make sure it's even. And we have 17.5 as the DBH. <laughs> if I measured it from down here, it would be a lot bigger as the trunk tends to get narrower as it goes to the top. So another exception when measuring DBH of a tree is when you measure a tree with a fork in it. When the fork of the tree is below breast height, you're gonna take the DBH of both trunks and then average the two together. To average them, you take the sum and then divide by two, or three if there's three, and like ongoing. Um, if the fork of the tree is above breast height, then you just measure at 4.5 feet as normal, and that's the DBH of the tree. This tool is known as a clinometer. A clinometer is used to measure the height of a tree from standing at a distance. Within the clinometer, there's two different scales, one on the right and one on the left. This will be the scale that you see when you're looking through the viewfinder. What you do when you're using a clinometer is keep both eyes open, but put the clinometer lens over one eye and look towards the top of the tree. In the viewfinder, on the right side, you're gonna see some numbers. Take the number while looking at the top, and then record the number when looking at the bottom of the tree. You're gonna take the bottom number and subtract it from the top, and then divide that by the distance that the tree is from you. This will give you the height of the tree in feet. To measure the distance between you and the tree, you're going to use a meter tape. My friend Peter will describe how to use that in the next video. <laughs> so this is a meter tape. A meter tape is used to measure one point, point A, to point B. You use it by extending it for however far you want to go. As you can see, there's little hooks on it, so you can use it on a tree like this. And then you go however far you want to go. The important part of using a meter tape is that it's taut. So that way you get the correct, accurate measurement. We're going to use this meter tape to measure the distance from this tree to this tree right here. When using the meter tape, you're going to have a partner hold one end of it and connect it right to the tree. We're going to have it connect right in the middle of the tree on this end, just so it's in the center, and the same thing on that end as well. You're going to pull the meter tape so it's straight and taut, aligned with the ground, and you're gonna bring it to the center of this tree. Make sure it's tight, and for this scenario, we're gonna measure in feet, and we can see that it is 12 feet in distance. That's what I'm saying. When measuring the distance with an area that has a significant slope, such as this one, we must first measure the difference between point A to point B elevation gradient. Measuring the distance between two areas with a significant slope, you 
You first have to take into account the elevation change, or the slope, rise over run. First, you measure the difference between the area down there to the elevation of here, and then you do the distance. And you divide the rise, the elevation change, over the run, which is the distance. Aspect is the measure of where a slope, like this, is facing in the direction of a compass. This is very important because then you're able to predict how much sunlight it might get in every given day.